Before you stand, one of the vilest, most bloodthirsty villains this country has ever seen. Rapist, looter, murderer. His crimes are of the most heinous kind. Before the year is out, this man will hang. Today, he will be flogged. A message to all who dare transgress the laws of this land. One hundred lashes. Proceed. One! Two! Three! Oh, Peggy Gorda, you are my darling. Come sit you down upon my knee and tell to me the very Why I am slighted so by thee, I wish I was in some lonesome valley, where woman kind could not be found. Sing upon branches Under the moment A different sound A bed is golden my darling Come sit you Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, go on. Now this is just a scene from a movie, but this is close to reality. back then and even today. You know, you hear this this drivel that people speak of, of white privilege, black privilege, or whatever. It, it has nothing to do with any of that. The true evil is elite privilege. These, these, these psychopaths that believe that they have a moral right to rule over everyone and the rest of us just have this obligation to comply and obey their will. This has to be eradicated. There is a difference between lawful and legal. What is legal is not always lawful. When the powers that should not be 
declare you a criminal when you have done nothing wrong that is pure evil. The true criminals are the ones that are invoking and enforcing this criminality in the name of legality. When our freedom and our rights that are endowed to us, the inalienable rights that are endowed to us by the Creator, are violated by these psychopaths, they must and will be punished to the maximum penalty. We already have um, laws out there. 18 U.S.C. 241 and 242. Uh, violation of... Uh, rights under the color of law. What is going on today is under the color of law. And if you don't know what the color of law is and the supreme law of the land and the difference between the two, educate yourself. Because when it comes down to the powers that should not be, they're not required to know the law. There's no excuse for the rest of us to not know the law. We evidently are required to know the law or their legal system. Violation of color of law. Violation of rights under color of law. The maximum penalty for this violation is death. And until we take up arms and bring these criminals to punishment. They will continue to do what they do when it comes down to stealing, lying, and murdering the people. This is just a representation of what is going to happen to all of us if we just stand by and let it happen. You know, there's a saying, you know, evil will thrive if good men do nothing. You know, all those people that are watching, standing by, just watching that boy get flogged to death are complicit in that crime. They are they are <laughs> they are not good people if they do not do nothing and stand back and watch. Now, in today's day, they're trying to um, create this, this idea that these self-appointed elite are the masters. And we are nothing but slaves. 
and those that enforce these self-appointed elite will are complicit in their crimes. You know, the excuse, it was my job. I was just doing what I was told to do, like the guy doing the whipping, the guy doing the counting. I was just doing my job. I was doing what I was told to do. You know, that excuse, that defense did not work during the Nuremberg trials. And it will not work today. Any forced, compelled, or coerced vaccination of the public is a violation of the Nuremberg Code, considered war crimes, and treason to the American people. Now, I'm speaking also worldwide. Just because I live in America doesn't give me more right to life than anyone else around the planet. Everyone around the planet, no matter what country you live in, you have the right to life and you have the right to defend that life. Because that is what is endowed to you by the Creator when you were put on this earth. I ask you, do you think you were put on this earth just to work a 40-hour job so you can have some most of that stolen from you in the form of taxes? Is that what is that what you were put on this planet for? Just to slave that hard labor and your time all to be stolen from you in the form of taxes. Now, if you believe that is what you were put on this earth to be, fine. You can believe that all you want. You can be that all you want. <laughs> you can be that slave if you want to. That's what freedom is, right? You have the freedom to be a slave if you want. But I also have the freedom and the will not to be a slave. Now, like I said, hey, if you want to get that jab and you want to wear that muzzle and you want to stay six foot apart from everybody, hell, that's, that's okay. You can do that. That's your freedom, right? Your choice, right? But what gives you the right to force me to do that. I have the freedom and the right to say no. You have no right to punish me for just saying no. Just like I have no right to punish you for saying yes. You're already being punished for saying yes. You've agreed to be punished. You've agreed to die at their hand. I'm extremely concerned for people around the world because this worldwide communist government is trying to grab hold of all of us and control every single aspect of our lives. Even our own DNA. Even our own bodies. 
even our own mind. And that has to be eliminated. And it will be eliminated. Oh, they won't like it too much. They'll fight and tooth and nail to keep their power. But it's not going to work. They will try to create chaos on this planet. But the, the nature of chaos cannot be controlled. They believe they can bring order out of that chaos. But the reality is the chaos will envelop them and burn them to the ground. It's time to wake up. Time to open your eyes. Come out of that slumber in the matrix. Embrace the true freedom. Embrace true anarchy. This is the 1122 Wingnut Radio out here for Anarchy Television. And I'm back out.